these chicks need to stop with these fake ass eyelashes, thinking they Betty Boot. Talk Nation, hope y'all enjoyed the intro. Spence versus Crawford. Now you guys have heard me talking about, you know what I mean, how Bud has certain characteristics that can give Spence problems. Now, let's talk about the characteristics that Errol Spence has that can give Bud problems. Spence is power. Now, Errol, the truth, Spence Jr. This guy is destructive to the body. That's number one. Now, Bud has said to Errol, you can try that body shot shit with me and let's see how that works. But there's certain things that come along with that. Bud is not going to stand in front of Errol all night throughout the fight to get broke down and chopped down by them body shots. Errol will catch um, Bud with a couple. Now, how clean he catches him and how often he catches him is the question. Hopefully he doesn't get caught that often because if he does, it's going to be and it's going to spell trouble for Bud Crawford. Arrow's just nasty, man. Besides he, besides him having a fantastic jab, you know what I mean? Like Arrow Spence fundamentals, man, is just like, it's just, it's just solid. You know what I mean? It's just sound. And you can be flashy like a Duran in this man and all that. But end of the day, when you forget and everything goes out the window, you always go back and rely on the certain fundamental practices when it comes to boxing. You know what I mean? Your jab, going down to the body to break your opponent down. And those things, Arrow, he does well. He does extremely well, in fact. So... And I'm definitely not knocking um, Jerron Ennis, you know what I mean? Because although Jerron Ennis is extremely, not only talented, but extremely lucid and sharp in the ring, um, Jerron Ennis is also defensively sound. So, trust me, I ain't knocking boots at all. If y'all know, follow, y'all follow the channel, you know what I mean? Y'all know what's going on when it comes to uh, Jerron Boots Ennis. This dude is on Bud and Spence Hills. But that's a different video. We done talked about that already. So we're gonna stay on topic. Now Spence and Bud, like when this fight happens, because this fight will happen, and I don't care what Spence or Bud has said in the past, both of these guys know that in order for them to have I'm not even gonna say bragging rights, man, because it's bigger than that. That's childish. It's bigger than bragging rights. For legacy, man. And I don't care what Bud say, I have to make it to all the things without fighting Spence. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. Fighting Errol Spence is the premier fight of your career. Period. And for Errol Spence, fighting Bud Crawford is the premier fight of your career. <clears throat> Period. I don't care what you say, you know what I mean? Because it ain't going to make no sense if it don't happen. That is going to be the fight that both of these guys get measured by, period, moving forward in their careers. How did he do when he fought Terrence Crawford? How did he do when he fought Errol Spence? Period. And especially more so for Bud, because Errol Spence half fought better competition in the welterweight division than Bud Crawford. So, Bud needs this fight. And by him defeating, possibly, Errol Spence, that is going to, I mean, not only I mean, rise, his, rise his stock, but that's going to prove that it doesn't matter who I fought in the welterweight division. I fought and I defeated the best, which is Errol the True Spence. Now, touching back the boots real quick, the future of the division, I don't see Bud Crawford fighting Boots. And I know Boots wants that fight. But I believe that Bud will probably move up to 54 before that fight ever happens. I truly do. Uh, and vice versa, as far as, you know what I'm saying, Errol, Errol too. Um, and I wish that 
a lot of these guys still had the mentality of the old school fighters you know what i mean like it doesn't matter who you are doesn't matter what belt you got if you call me out we fighting period that is how it should be now if you guys hear the, the commotion the water and all that shit in the background that's because your boy is also a chef and i am preparing some jerk um usually i do a jerk and curry but i'm doing some jerk wings man you know what i'm saying it's the fourth of july so it's about to be it's about to be some fireworks in the oven you dig what i'm saying once upon a time man your boy was thinking about doing a cooking channel the skills is that official if y'all want me to put the recipe up on here man put it in the uh, comments and i um and i'll drop that for y'all but moving on man like arrows jab arrow's body i mean his uh his body punching you know what i mean arrow has good timing but his power his power is what worries me about terence crawford because arrow has destructive power arrow has destructive power and if he catches bud slipping or if he catches bud with the right shot at the right time it may be over for Bud, you know what I mean? He definitely will be in trouble. He definitely will be in trouble. How fast did he, I mean, can he bounce back? Who knows? But if Arrow catches Bud with the right shot at the right time, man, Bud, Bud, Bud can get destroyed. He can get destroyed. And you just got finished seeing, I don't know if y'all saw it, but well, Mike Tyson went out there and he was uh, he visited Bud for uh, for his birthday and you all saw Bud you know what I mean coming out the Greek Mike you know what I'm saying um, Bud had the, he had the workout gear on and you could see Bud abs so Bud doing them sit ups Bud ain't playing you know what I mean he know Spence got that work when it comes to the body so he know his core is going to have to be Superman solid in order to get past and bypass Errol Spence body attack. If it ain't, he might. I mean, you talk, you, 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 you talk about broke ribs because you know what I'm saying. Errol will barbecue them ribs, he will barbecue them, put the sauce on them, and everything. Bop, 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 bop. You know what I mean? Bud will be in trouble. So, you know, them dips, crunches. Everything, you know what I mean? Everything's every everything will be in effect for Bud. You know what I mean? He 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 ain't playing. And he shouldn't. Because I tell you guys time and time again, I don't know why people get into the ring with Bud, excuse me, with Arrow, knowing that he's a devastating body puncher. They know this. And people still stand in front of him and get the hell get the get the shit beat out of him. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't understand it. You know what I mean? Which goes back to what the great champion and Hall of Famer Mike Tyson said: "Everybody got a plan until they get punched in the face." You know what I mean? I'm gonna mix it up a little bit and say: "Everybody got a plan until they get hit with the right body shot." And once they get hit with that body shot, cause everything goes out the window, including their last breath. You know what I mean? So. Look for Bud not to get caught with any body shots. Now, his power, besides the body shots, though, look what he did to Ugas. Had Ugas' eye looking like a damn pineapple. Ugas was in the bed, going on Instagram. He was like, he was crying blood for like a week. You know what I'm saying? He was jacked up laid up you know what i'm saying they, i mean they didn't know if he was gonna have to have surgery because his eye was mangled you know what i mean he almost killed brookie spence almost killed brook oh guys because they didn't know if his orbital bone was destroyed he was gonna have to walk around like cyborg from the from the x-men movie you know what i mean i'm trying to tell you who guys was jacked up who guys was jacked up same thing happened to bud don't get it twisted don't get it twisted I believe Bud is going to have to be a volume puncher in this fight. Errol Spence, with the amount of punches that he already throws, Bud can allow Errol to be a volume puncher. If Bud can cut down on the shots that Errol Spence throws, 
that is going to be a huge key in his victory, especially winning rounds and gaining points. If he can lower Errol Spence's work rate, keep him busy, tie him up, frustrate him, that is going to be huge for Bud. It's going to be huge for Bud. But Bud, being as though he can switch to, he is going to utilize the whole entire ring. He's going to be moving laterally. He's going to be moving backwards. Bud can fight off of the back foot very well. A lot of this, the traps that he's going to have to set Arrow up with is going to be off of the back foot when Arrow tries to press him. When Bud, and he knows he's going to have to fight off of the ropes at times. When he feels his back on the ropes, he's going to have to be just like when Tank caught Roley. You know what I mean? As soon as your back is on the ropes and you see Arrow coming in, you're going to have to either get ready to throw, counter, or move out the way, or both. Counter and then slip under the shot and move out the way because you can't allow Arrow to go to work while you are stuck on the ropes. That's how, and that's how he begins to break dudes down. Look what he did to Bun dude. Look what he did to Kel Brook. You know what I mean? Like, that's how he broke Kel Brook out when he caught him on the ropes and he went to, he went to work. Let her Bun dude cr cr crushed him. You know what I mean? Had Bun dude folded like a transformer on the ropes. So, Bud don't want to be in that position at all. That's going to be a terrible position for Bud to be in. But, man, this fight, man, is going to be super explosive. Arrow's power is super explosive. His IQ is super explosive. You know what I mean? Um, Bud, Bud is sharp, man. Bud is smart. Bud really is. Now, he's going to have to be, or his IQ is going to have to be on super point. On super point. I'm talking about Lex Luthor. You know what I mean? He's going to have to be, he's going to have to be a ring mastermind that night. You know what I mean? He can't make any mistakes because if he makes mistakes that night when he fights Errol Spence, he is going to be in trouble. And it ain't going to be, it's going to be ugly, man, if he get caught. If he get into a situation where he can't react and he gets hurt, I mean, it's going to be, it's going to be ugly, man. And for some reason, I'm telling you, man, like this, this is the kind of fight that the unexpected could happen how we think the fight is going to happen and, and and play out something or the narrative can totally change i don't know what that is but this is that kind of fight where something can happen when you have two phenomenal competitors like like this skill wise iq you know what i mean power speed movement iq toughness both of these guys are mentally tough but bud like i said bud does have that dog in him arrow he has that dog in him too. So I'm not gonna knock that, not gonna take that away. And Arrow, he's mentally tough, man. Arrow eventually made car crash, the eye injury, but don't get it twisted. A lot of people get this, you don't get it. Look, Bud was shot in the head once upon a time and Bud bounced back. So Bud know a thing, he know a thing or two about going through physical adversity and using that to propel you not only in life, but also to propel you to keep fighting and driving on. So don't get it twisted. Bud knows something about that too. This fight is going to be legendary. Just like these chicken wings. Talk nature, stand up with your boy. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Smash that like button. I should have told y'all that earlier. Should have told y'all that earlier, but I'm telling you now, smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button. And if you smash that subscribe button, turn on notifications so when the videos drop y'all can get them ain't no point in subscribing if you ain't gonna turn on notifications so if you don't turn on notifications and subscribe at least thumbs up the video so the next person could also witness and enjoy the video rock with your boy can't eat with your boy but that's okay i hope you all have a blessed evening and enjoy your meal wherever you may wherever you may be at in the world you know what i mean but we about to get it in. Talk that you stand up with your boy. Peace. Man, these chicks need to stop with these fake ass eyelashes. Thinking they Betty Boop.